Sirach, Sirach chapter 30, verse 1. Go ahead. He that loveth his son causeth him oft to feel the rod, that he may have joy of him in the end. We want to have joy of your brothers in the end. We want to be able to say, hey, that young man right there, remember when he first came in? Look at him now. That's what we want. Go ahead. He that chastiseth his son shall have joy in him. When we chastise you, we want to have joy in you. Go ahead. And shall rejoice of him among his acquaintance. Yeah, amongst our acquaintance. We want to have joy. We want to hear good things when we send you out to other schools, to other camps. Go ahead. He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy. See that? The white man, Esau, the other nations despise when we teach y'all. They hate this. They want to shut this down. How many times you see these uh, damnable Edomites like that uh, Mark Rice or vocab? Oh, look what they're doing, making mockery. Following us around. Truth. But he despised, he's being yes. grieved because we're teaching you, because you're coming into this truth. It upsets the devil. Go ahead. He that teaches his son grieveth the enemy, and before his friends he shall rejoice of him. Right, before our friends we shall rejoice in you. Go ahead. Though his father die. Though we die, brothers. Our, three of our elders already passed away. Though he die. Go ahead. Yet. He is as though he were not dead. Yet he is as though as he were not dead, God. For he have left one behind him mm -hmm. that is like himself. That's right, God. While he lived, he saw and rejoiced in him. While we live, brothers, we see and we want to rejoice in you, God. And when he died, he was not sorrowful. And when we die, if we're still in this captivity, we don't want to be sorrowful. We want to be able, we want to hear the Lord say, well done, thou good and faithful. So that's what we want to hear, God. He left, he left behind him an avenger. See that? He left behind him an avenger. Go ahead. Against his enemies. Against his enemies. Go ahead. And one that shall requite kindness to his friends. And one that shall deal kindly with the other brothers and sisters in this truth. Go ahead. Was that it? Yes, sir. That was verse 6. Yes, now, verse 7. We're going right. to read 7 through 13. Write this down. Verse 7. Wait, 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 wait. Verse 7 through 13 are various steps on how to grow and fix a broken man. All of us coming into this truth, if you were not born in this truth, you're broken. I was not born in this truth. I came in broken. None of us up here was born in the truth. We came in the truth as broken men, messed up in the head. Everybody in here listening, broken. So verse seven through 13 shows various steps on how to grow and fix broken men. Understand that a grown adult man who's 40 years old that just repented a year ago, you're only one years old in the spirit. A 50 year old man <coughs> that's eight years in the truth, he's only eight years old in the spirit. Okay. Do y'all see? Put the first picture back up. IT, put the, go back to the first one you showed with the brother and his son. Brothers come in like that. You're an adult, but in the spirit, you're a child just like that. Okay, you come in physically, you're an adult, but in the spirit, you are that child right there. Okay, give me the next one. Now we're trying to mold you from that young child to that grown man as an Israelite. Okay, just like you see on the screen, just like that. Let's read verse 7, get a lie. Yes, sir. Sirach chapter 30, verse 7. He that maketh too much of his son shall bind up his wounds, and his bowels will be troubled at every cry. I often get on the captains and some of the deacons. Don't make too much. I, you, brothers have favorites. There's nothing wrong with having favorites. Christ had, out of the 12, Christ had three favorites. Oh, God, I did an Illuminati sign. Somebody's going to circle my damn hand. Christ had three, let me do it this way. Is that okay? Is that Illuminati? They make out of that too. I'll do it like that? Can I do that? <laughs> Christ had three favorites out of the 12. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as you're not dealing partially, okay? Right is right, wrong is wrong across the board. I know the deacons, the bishops have certain brothers that they favorite. That's okay. Some of the captains have favorites. That's okay. Some of you senior officers, you got favorite brothers you like. You have a good time. That's okay. The problem comes if you're partial to them. If they sin, do something evil as hell, and you turn a blind eye. 
okay, or things go wrong. You just you make too much of it. Sometimes we got to let you go through your problems. Okay, read that again. It's Rock 30, verse 7. He that maketh too much of his son shall bind up his wounds, and his bowels will be troubled at every, at every cry. You know when a young boy falls, he runs and he falls and he hits his knee and he's, ah! And the mother jumps up and what does the father say? Leave that boy alone. Let him cry. He needs to cry. That's like when birds have eggs. And he tells, like, I don't know how many of you have been on a the farm. They I was on a farm many times every summer. They would tell us, don't help open the uh, shell of the egg. Why not? Because if you don't let that young chick go through the trials and struggles of coming out, it will never grow to its full potential. It will be weak. Okay, why? Because you're always there as the mother hen or the father rooster helping it. Everybody understand that? Yes, sir. That shell is the trials and tribulations God set for you to build your character, to build your personality. You have to go through that. We all have to go through that. Read on. Verse 8. Yeah, hold on, hold on. The times when you see brothers are wrong, you're going through things. As a leader, you want to help that brother. Okay, you want to do something. you like, damn, he going through this. You want to help him. But sometime in helping that brother, okay, by you trying to, and not allowing him to go through what he go through, you make him weak. And usually brothers like that, they not going to survive in the truth. Why they not going to survive in the truth? Because you make that brother weak every time the lord was trying him you intervene and made him weak you hold his hand instead of leaving that brother to go through what he got to go through to make him strong in this walk okay so that's what the bishop is is, is um touching on okay you leaders let the men and them around you let them go through that trial and become strong okay don't hold their hands and also we've intervened to help men and they're the same ones doing the IUIC exposed videos on us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay? Because they didn't go through their trial. And those are the little sissies we're talking about. Well, we move differently now. Most of the men that's doing videos against us is because they were sissies. They couldn't deal with their trial. So they attacked us and they pointed fingers at us. That's why it says, he that make it too much of his son will bind up his wounds. Look in the regular world. The child blames everything on the parents. All their shortcomings they blame on the parents, it's the same thing in this truth. You got brothers who are weak, who we tried to help in the beginning, that we should have left them to themselves. Because all they do is take advantage, and they want you to carry them all the time. And then you see their real nature when you say, enough. So it's, go, why I left IUIC. How many people you seen that did those videos that they became better after they left? Zero. Exactly. Can I read it again? Yes, sir. He that maketh too much of his son shall bind up his wounds, and his bowels will be troubled at every cry. And horse not broken becometh headstrong. A horse not broken becomes headstrong. This is why correction is very, very important. Okay? Correction is necessary. Criticism is necessary. Now, there's something called constructive criticism and destructive criticism. Destructive criticism, I'm gonna just watch this guy, I'm gonna just get on him and get on him, get him. No, you're not trying to help that brother, you're trying to destroy this man. Okay. Constructive is, like when we get on you, it's meant for you to change, meant for you to correct the errors of your ways. Some of you men, we see you going the wrong way, you pick a hoe, some of you are going, marrying hoes. We gotta deal with a whole situation uh, this coming week, weekend. A hoe that got put out three times. Come back. Now she's trying to destroy the next man. And the brother that brought out the, the incident is marrying this local hoe. You can't make this stuff up. I ain't pointing them out. I'm just going to wait till it all plays out. But I know a hoe when I smell a hoe. And I know a weak, simp, damaged brother. Some of y'all... You start crying, we get on you about the woman you with. Yeah. All right. She going to commit adultery on you. You going to come back crying. And we've seen it many, many times. 